As it ended, Ayaka took a deep breath and slowly let it out. Standing up, Ayaka said, I like how I don't have to wipe myself off. Her body also felt clean and hygienic, unlike it was before when using the bathroom. Removing a bracelet, Ayaka went over to where the shower was. Turning on the water, the warm water set to the temperature that fit her flowed down her naked body. She could feel it cascading down her neck and between her breasts. With one hand, she wiped down the area between her breasts while the other hand was used to wash under the mounds. Under the shower head and enjoying the water spraying down all over her body, Ayaka could feel the stress of the day slowly begin to fade away. It was as though the experience was like a gentle massage. Not deep enough to make her feel uncomfortable, but enough to get her body ready for what was to come. Turning around, the water soon flowed down her back. She could feel the stream that was created traveling between her perky cheeks. Just like the time before, she looked to where the soap and washcloth were located. First, she pressed the button for the washcloth. This time, the puck that appeared was natural and not as surprising as when she initially saw the item. Though it was still a slight novelty, most of the initial surprise had faded from her mind. It wasn't long before she was wiping down the body with the washcloth with the soap dispensed into it. Once again, her body was beginning to feel clean. But this time, after such a difficult day, Ayaka thought it was even more rewarding of an experience. I wonder if this is what it feels like for people who come back home from a hard day at work. Ayaka giggled as she bent down to run the washcloth along her supple legs. Beneath her skin, Ayaka could feel that her legs felt a little more firm but slightly springy to the touch. It was as though a sense of youthfulness was being injected into her body. Though she was still young, the fact that she spent all day in the sun made Ayaka self-conscious. But as she wiped herself down, it felt like her body was being healed of all the damage caused by the sun. Even her skin looked youthful and flawless, the imperfections that were on her body slowly fading away. She couldn't help but enjoy the feeling of her legs and wonder if the others had something similar happen to them. I don't think I'm even developing a tan. Ayaka couldn't help but smile. She knew that if her classmates could see her body now, they'd be jealous of her. It was strange how there was an increase in strength, but also an increase in her femininity. Though she never needed to shave her legs much, Ayaka didn't notice any hair beginning to grow on her legs. Once she was finished washing her body, the next step was her hair. Turning around, Slowly to get rid of the soap, Ayaka proceeded to rinse her hair. With her back to the water, her head slowly tilted back. Using her hands, Ayaka worked her fingers into a medium length brown hair. Once her hair was sufficiently wet, the next thing she did was start applying the shampoo. While going through and cleaning herself, it was nice not to worry about anything and enjoy the moment. Turning around, she turned off the water. With both hands, her hair was slicked back so that it didn't get in her face. Checking out the bath in front of her, it was now time to decide what she wanted to add to the tub. Stepping away from the shower area, her wet feet left a trail behind her as she made her way towards the bathtub. Her eyes looked at the wall to check out the numerous available items that could be added to the water. Lazily reaching towards where everything was displayed, Ayaka picked out the first thing to be added into the water.